Welcome to another installment of our resource videos on the 6 liter diesel engine. We are dedicated to educating the 6 liter diesel community on how to diagnose and bulletproof the 6 liter diesel engine for years of dependable service. Now we're going to discuss a simple testing method to test bad EGR coolers and head gaskets. Oftentimes, if your EGR cooler goes bad, there's a lot of confusion as to whether or not it's just an EGR cooler or an EGR cooler and a head gasket, or if it's just your head gasket. Because of the expense involved in replacing both, it's important to try to discern or tell which problem you have and which one you don't. A lot of the confusion arises because when you have a bad EGR cooler, it has a lot of the same symptoms as a blown head gasket and vice versa. Those symptoms include a lot of white steam coming out of your tailpipe, bubbles in your cooling system, loss of coolant from your reservoir or degas bottle, and maybe even the overheating of your engine. How can you tell which problem you have? Is it an EGR cooler, blown head gaskets, or both? We've developed a simple little testing mechanism that you can use that doesn't give you an exact answer, but it can give you a general idea. It can tell you which way the wind's blowing if you know what I mean. The technician is using the Bulletproof Diesel Bubble Tester. The bubble tester consists of the rubber stopper, the brass barb, as well as a clear plastic hose. In addition to the tool, however, you're also going to need some sort of clear, transparent bottle, or at least something you can fill the water and see any bubbles that might occur. You simply connect the bubble tester into the cooling system, start up the truck, and watch. Let it stabilize. Watch for the bubbles coming out of the degas bottle. As those bubbles come out, take note of the size and the quantity of those bubbles and get an idea for how much air is coming out of the cooling system and how much pressure. Safely disconnect the VGT connector from the turbo. What this forces the turbo to do is just to relax. It takes all the back pressure off the back of the EGR cooler. Then we look and we watch the bubbles again. Now if the bubbles go down, if they drop significantly, if there's a big change in the bubbles when the turbo is disconnected, that means you most likely have a bad EGR cooler and only a bad EGR cooler. If the bubbles persist, if there's nothing that really changes with the bubbles, that most likely indicates that you have a blown head gasket. If you see the bubbles are still pretty strong, but when you plug the turbo back in again, the bubbles come back even livelier, that typically indicates you have a blown head gasket and a blown EGR cooler. If you found that video helpful, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll receive updates as we add similar videos in the future.